Well, hi everyone. Welcome to another episode of KMRD Radio Stuff. My name is Mike. Today, I want to talk solar. Thank you. It's the Friday before Field Day 2021. We're out here at Jason's hunting lease at an undisclosed location. And this year, just like I did last year, I'm going to be running my station off of battery power because I am a battery nerd and I'm also a solar nerd. So Kevin from BioNO was kind enough to send me some of their solar panels to try out. So I'll be using those this year for field day. And I want to show you guys what we got. We've got a 28 watt solar panel, a 40 watt, a 60 watt, and a 100 watt. So I'll show you my station here. I brought along Big Geek. You guys have seen the video of this, and if you haven't, you should probably check the video that I'll put right here after this video, of course. So that's what's going to be powering my 7300. Here's my station here. That's 7300. Got my boom mic. Got my foot switch down there. Also brought along Little Geek just to charge things. There's a 10 amp hour battery in there. Let's get these uh, solar panels out in the sun. It's noon on a hot Texas day. So we should be able to get maximum uh, current out of these things and show you what they can really do. So stay tuned. Holy hillbilly, it's hot. All right, so I wanna show you first the 28 watt and the 40 watt. These are really nice panels. I actually use these ones quite often for my, uh, for my G90 Go box. These are really good at powering the six amp hour battery that I have in there. They've just got a little Velcro and they unfold. You throw it in the sun, you got power. There's a nice zipper pouch on the back of these. that's gonna have your charging cable that connects to your solar charge controller. Now this came with a barrel connector on it. I use everything power poles, so I just cut, about, cut off the barrel connector and put power poles on here. So this is the 28 watt version. It's uh, four seven watt solar panels. Uh, the output's about 15 to 18 volts and you'll get about 1.55 amp hours of current out of it max. Another cool thing you can do with these, if you have more than one of these of the same uh, wattage, you can actually daisy chain them together. There's a, there's a barrel connector here so you can link them together and get more power, which is always a good thing. And there's also a USB plug right here. So if you're out in the field, you want to charge your phone or your camera or whatever, just lay that on the ground, plug your USB in there, and Bob's your uncle. The 48 watt version, or excuse me. <laughs> now the 40 watt version is very much the same. It's a little bit heavier uh, because it adds two more panels, but this also has a nice handle to it. Same. Uh, zipper bag here and back so you can keep your cordage uh, put other you know little miscellaneous things in there same USB same uh, barrel connector to daisy chain them uh, this one is rated at a max output of 2.22 amps so a little bit more power there and as we unfold this it's the same idea except it's longer we've got two more panels on here so Let's hook these up to Big Geek. I've got some watt meters, some inline watt meters, so we can see the current. We can see what the battery's gonna be uh, taking in, how much current we're putting into it. And uh, we'll look at that, and then we'll take a look at the 60 and the 100 watt versions. So let's plug in the 28 watt panel. And I'm gonna plug it into this inline meter, just because I like to see what the solar panel's voltage is. But we're also gonna look at this meter. I do need to turn the charge controller on however whoops all right so we're going to plug in the 28 watt panel and we can see here uh, our current is ramping up and we're getting about 1.15 amps it's about noon on the sunniest Texas day I've had, so now we're at 1.2, so about 1.15 amps going into the uh, 
the battery there with the 28 watt. I've seen it go a little bit higher. It's just pretty much laying flat on the ground now. I don't really have it uh, oriented directly towards the sun, but the sun's pretty much overhead. Let's see if I can move it a little bit, if that matters at all. Get it a little more flat maybe, who knows. Let's see what we got now. Well, that made it worse. <laughs> But we're getting a little over an amp, which is fine because my G90 pulls about a half an amp. So I'd still be charging the battery and using the G90. So now let's take a look at the 40 watt panel and see what that does. Now here we go. 40 watts. And about 1.3 amps into it. I did drain this battery, so there's definitely uh, some pull going in there. This meter says 1.33, 1.34, roughly about 1.33 amps out of the 40 watt panel. So I just put some sticks under it to angle it up a little bit more. Getting about 1.37 amps going in, so we're getting a little bit more. So now let's take a look at the 60 watt and the 100 watt versions. Now these are both the same size physically, other than the 60 watt panel is just two and the 100 watt panel has four uh, different solar panels on them. They both have uh, this nice zipper thing in the back that's gonna house our actual charging cable. Now this comes with these really big power poles and uh, an adapter, so naturally I put power poles on it. So we can clamp these together, plug this into our charge controller, and we're good to go. It's got a zipper closure, and it unfolds. And there's also these feet on the back that Velcro, so you can angle them up. So when you deploy this, you can have both feet, and then you can angle it towards the sun. That's with them fully extended. You can tilt it up a little bit so you can track the sun. That's the 60 watt. Now our 100 watt panel has these nice clasps that you just press the little button to un, uh, unhook them. And then this is gonna fold out. Again, we're gonna have the same legs. We've got two legs on this one as well. And it's gonna fold out into four panels. And when it's deployed, This one's a little wonky to set up. I wish it had more legs. So I'll usually end up putting some sticks underneath this just to kind of keep them all flat. But we're on pretty flat ground here, so it's not much of an issue. So that's what that looks deployed. And this one's rated, uh, I think, up to five amps. And I think we get uh, like four, maybe three and a half out of this one. I forget the specs. I don't think it says it on the actual... Uh, panel. No, it doesn't say it on the panel. And of course, I left all the literature at home. So let's plug these in to the power box and see what we get. Now, these two solar panels don't come with any other cordage to connect from the panel to your solar charge controller. So I just made up a cord. I was actually throwing out a lamp because it didn't work anymore. And I was like, wait a minute, that's got wire. So I salvaged that, put power poles on it. And now I can connect directly to the solar panel and Bob's your uncle. All right, so now I'm gonna plug in the 60 watt panel. See what we can get out of that. About 2.3 amps. I think, that's, I think that's typically what I get out of this. Um, again, I'm not sure what it's rated for uh, I suspect it's probably a little bit higher than that, but that's kind of consistent with ramping up from the 28 to the 40 to the 60. My 7300 draws a solid amp on receive, as does my 891. So this is enough power to supply power to your radio and also put power into your battery. So I'd be charging at 1.3 amps going into the battery right now. So that's pretty good. And now lastly, we're going to plug in the 100 watt panel and see what we get out of that. About three amps, that seems low. I've, I have gotten five amps out of this. I'm gonna try and adjust it a little bit, see if we can get a little more current. 
Well, so I tried adjusting it a few different ways, laying it flat, uh, increasing the angle, decreasing the angle. Seems to be about the same, so that's probably what we're going to get out of this panel today. Like I said, I, I have gotten uh, 5 amps out of this thing. Not sure why I'm not today, because the sun is directly overhead, and it's summer in Texas. But uh, yeah, they, they do work great. Uh, this is definitely enough to keep me going all day for field day, running 100 watts. So not too bad. I'll take free electricity. So naturally, I got back to camp, plugged in the solar panel. Now we're getting almost four amps. It was over four just a second ago, it was like 4.2. So this is the 100 watt panel. Uh, I probably had it not facing directly towards the sun. But yeah, definitely getting more power now. So all said and done, these are fantastic panels to take with you for portable radio, for emergency, power use, emergency communications, whatever the case may be. When the power goes out, I'll throw the panels out in the sun, hook up one of my battery boxes, keep it charged so I can still play radio, I can charge my, my computer, my cell phone, whatever, uh, anything you need electronics wise. They hardly weigh anything compared to, I have, I have a bigger solar panel um, and the thing is as is, is heavy as all get out. It's glass, you know, it's one of those big square ones that like mounts on top of an RV or a roof or something like that. Those just aren't very practical for bringing out in the field. Stuff like this, these panels are, are semi-flexible. Um, you know, they, I've had these since last year. I've, I've, I've had these for almost a year now. And uh, they definitely pass the K at MRD abuse test. Uh, I'm, I'm not exactly gentle on things. And uh, I haven't managed to destroy them. So uh, that's a good testament to the quality of these BioNO panels. Regardless of which one you go with, any of these are going to be a great addition to your ham shack or your emergency power uh, situation, management, whatever you want to call it. They're just great to have. If you're hiking or something, you know, one of these little guys is going to be great. You can charge your devices. There's a USB thing built in there. So that's fantastic. If we need more power, we can hook up the 60 or the 100 watt. You can run more of these in parallel as well. So if I have like 200 watt panels, I can hook up two of them and get uh, more power going into the batteries that way. So anyway, thank you so much, Kevin, uh, and everyone at BioNO for being such uh, great support to the channel. And uh, absolutely love your products. Uh, I will leave links in the description for all of these. And if you have any questions or comments, uh, do ask them down below. I try and answer all of them. And until next time, we will see you again on another episode of K at MRD Radio Stuff. 73, guys.